Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. We are going to finish our tote bag tonight. So far in step one I showed you how to make the panels. In step two we made the strap. In step three we made the lining with the pockets which is still inside out and tonight we're going to put it all together. So here's how we start. Let's put the lining aside and the strap aside. We are going to put the two pieces of tote bag together. So you just need to decide which way you want it to be, like which is the top. Now I want to double check and make sure that I have this in the right direction here. Our lining is a little bit longer than the panel and that's the right width. So yes, I have this right. So I am just looking at this, and I like this for the top on this one, and I like this for the top on this one. So your two tops, you don't need to pin this, just remember your two tops are going up. You're going to just put them together, right sides together, the tops facing up. And we are just going to sew down one side, across the bottom, and then up. We're going to leave the top open, obviously. So let's go on over to the machine. Once again, I was explaining steps to you and my camera was not recording. I don't know, too much for me to remember. So what I'm starting to do is I wanted to show you that, let me show you on this side. When we made the pieces, I had you stitch all the way around and you can see that that is very close to the edge. When we sew, we want our needle to go to the left of that thread. So that way when we turn the bag right side out, these stitches won't show. So I've already sewn down this part, but I'm going to do it again just so you can see what I mean. I am putting my needle down. When I sew, my needle is going to be to the left of the stitches that are already there. Okay, now I'm just going to go around with a zigzag stitch. Time for the strap! I have mentioned in a previous video I do not trim my edges. This way you can wash and dry this baby as much as you want. Nothing's going to come apart. I'm going to turn this in uh, right sides out, give it a little shake, and you can go in and push your corners out if you want. People trim the corners so that they're nice and pointy. I'm okay with that. I'd rather have a not so pointy corner that lasts a long time. We know the top is the open part, and now we take our strap. Now you look at your strap and you decide if there's one side you like better than another. Usually they're both beautiful. But I see here there's a lot of this striped fabric on this side. And there's probably a little bit more variety on this side. So I want this side to be the part that's going to be seen when it's on my shoulder. So you take the part that you want to be seen. We are going to make a horseshoe shape and make sure that your strap is not twisted. The part that you want to be the outside on your shoulder visible is going to go toward the bag. I know this makes probably no sense at this point, but it will. It's because of the way we're constructing the tote. So we want a horseshoe shape. We want the right side, the visible side of the strap to be against the tote. And we are going to take the strap and pin it to the seam on each side. And you want to leave about, about two inches of strap sticking up. Now I am going to take a chance here and use a straight pin. See if I can do it without hurting myself. This is just so we don't get the strap twisted. So I want to make sure I'm not twisted. 
and I'm going to do the same up here just to keep the strap from being twisted. Off to the machine we go. We don't have to worry about the strap getting twisted because we have temporarily pinned it and I'm going to remove the pin at this point and what we want to do is we want the seam that we just sewed to be somewhere like in the center of this strap and you want about two inches of that strap sticking up like that. We're going to sew right across here. Just going to put the strap down. I can see that my seam is toward the center of that strap and I have at least two inches sticking out. Same on the other side. I'm going to take the pin out. I want my seam as centered as possible and I'm just going to stitch across. Let's go back to the table. Okay, you just made something that looks like this. Our strap is not turned. It looks upside down. It is at this point. We have pieces sticking out. Let's go back now to our lining. We know this is the top of our lining right here. We have pins. Our pockets are there on the inside. Put your lining this way with the top right here. Take your bag and just kind of crumple it up and we're going to stick the bottom of the bag right through this liner. You know, remember the lining doesn't is not sewn on the bottom. There's a reason for that. So what we want is we want the tote bag, the outside part of the tote bag is inside the lining and the right sides are touching. See the tote bag, right side is out, the lining, the right side is in. So the right sides are touching. And then we're going to the machine and we're going to what we're doing here. Let me just put these two tops together and shake that out a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sewing all around the opening up here and that's going to attach the lining to the tote and then when we flip it it'll make sense I promise you. So let's go over to the machine and I'll show you what I'm doing. I have my little tote bag sandwich and we're going to start at one of the straps and you want to take the seam of the lining and kind of just feel and put it up against the seam of the tote. And this little piece of strap is going to stay sticking up. We're just going to keep our edges even here and we're just going to stitch all the way around. This part that is sticking up will end up being inside the tote and it's what we're going to use to reinforce the strap. I'm just going to lay down my fabric. Make sure my edges are somewhat together here. And so. Okay. I'm back to the beginning. Now we're going to do a zigzag stitch all the way around, like toward the very edge, you know, the raw edges is where we're going to do the zigzag. We did it! Okay, now this is what we have, and here's where the magic starts to happen. We are now going to flip that lining so the bag looks like this. Now I'm going to remove my safety pins on the lining. You know, I never did that safety pin trick before to mark my tops, and that worked out well for me. So I'm going to do that again. We are going to be tucking that inside, but first we have to hem the bottom of the lining. We're just going to double fold, fold and fold and stitch. I'll show you at the other camera. So here's the open end of the liner, and we're going to just fold and fold, and I'm going to do a straight stitch all along the bottom. I generally do two straight stitches. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. All right, straight stitch. Here we go. And we'll just go down one more time. Awesome sauce. Now we are ready to tuck the liner into the bag. Just shake it out a little bit. Oh, just 
just love it so much. You'll see some little threads sometimes sticking out from the back side that'll just pull right out. Now what I'm going to do is top stitch all the way around the bag so that the top is nice and neat and then we're going to reinforce these straps on the side. So we'll do that over at the other camera. Camera is on. So what we are going to do is we're going to sew around the top just to keep the bag, you know, from rolling. You know, we just want to make our top, I should say, look nice and neat. So I'm going to sew all around and I like to try to like maybe roll the, the lining and see if I can show you down so that it's inside the bag. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Here we go. I always start on a strap. <laughs> I have no bob in the thread. Okay. Did all that sewing for nothing. Okay, I'm ready to try this again. We are back to where this strap is, and we're going to now reinforce this strap. So you just make sure your bag is all lying nice and flat, and all I want to do is, like, go down across the bottom and up, and then make an X inside. Doesn't matter how you go about doing that, it's just a matter of doing it. So. I've already sewn across the top, so I'm going to turn my bag this way. I'm just going to go down, across, and back up. You just feel, you know your strap is under there. You want to be sewing on your strap. Okay. Now I'm going to go across the bottom, and this is what's going to make your strap super duper secure. Now I'm going back up. Now, I have like a little white box there. I'm just going to make an X in there. So since my needle is already in, I'm just going to, I know this looks very confusing. How come that won't turn for me? All right. I actually have a contrasting thread, so you'll be able to see the X good when I'm done. And then you'll just be able to figure out how to make an X, I promise you. It doesn't even have to be an X. You know, you could just do lines up and down, zigzag across, whatever. You just want to secure that strap in there so it's not just that little line up here holding that strap in. You want to be able to put 100 pounds of junk in this tote. I'm going to run across the bottom again to get me to this side, and then I'll go up to that corner. Sheesh, that scared me. Took a nice little break. Now, I'm just going to follow my stitch line along the bottom to the corner so I can make my other line of the X. Yay! So let me show you. Ah, you can see with this thread, this is where the strap is sticking inside the bag and then I just you know sew around and make an X and I'm telling you that strap will hold a lot of weight now we're gonna go do the other side yay and we are done let's go look at it we are done and yes funny hair. I was on the phone and I guess when I'm on the phone I have a habit of playing with my hair like this and it pushes my bangs back and then they stay back. So I'm trying to be sheepish. <laughs> we are done the tote. I'm so excited. This is a nice big one. Here's what we ended up with. One side, the other side. the strap and our lovely lining with two pockets nice pockets those are nice and deep 
easily fit your phone, your glasses, whatever you have that needs to go in there. Not cigarettes. I do not want cigarettes in this bag. Don't. I'm not saying that like I'm a goody two-shoes. I smoked for many years, but I don't anymore. All right. This will be going up on eBay soon, so please watch for it. And if you make this tote, or even just the panels, do show me. Somebody already showed me a panel they made. I was like so in awe of it. I just love to see fabrics and crazy quilt blocks, anything. So thrilled that anyone would watch one of my tutorials and make something. Really, seriously, I feel like I gave birth to that quilt block. <laughs> I just, I just absolutely love looking at sewing things, crafty things. I just, I'm an addict. So do show me the things that you make. Okay, that is it for tonight. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.